Hello everyone, welcome back to AK Deckcraft channel. Today I'm going to talk about how to configure git pre-commit hook with a Gradle project. So I have written a post on it and I will make sure I will put the link for the same. So to get started, I have already downloaded the Spring Boot project or Gradle project from the Spring Initializer tool and I have it in here already downloaded and it is here it's a zip file so i will first start with unzipping it so unzip git prehook it got unzip we'll go into the folder and we'll initialize a empty git repo so the moment if you see right it initialized a git repo so we should have the sample git repos inside the folder so if i say ls hyphen a which shows the hidden folders dot git so dot git slash hooks you'll see number of different pre hooks which is available with the git and their samples so for now we will go back and if you see we have a gradle project so i will jump back to my post and I will copy few things so I want to make sure I don't make a mistake while creating a folder so it will create a folder and then we'll cat a pre commit file which I will explain in a shortly and control D okay so if you see what I have done I created a script folder and then I created a pre commit so I should have created another script but that's okay I will just move this inside the scripts folder so now if I go inside script I should have that file so its file is here so this is a pre commit file which is essentially it has a code which says hey just whenever someone tried to pre commit or commit a code run this pre commit command which is dot gradle test so before any commit it will just rerun the test to make sure your application is still in a good state so this is first step we have to create a script folder and put a pre commit file and this pre commit name has to be mandatorily pre commit it, it cannot be something else because we are configuring for a pre commit hook so it has to be pre commit now next thing we will do is we will copy this gradle task which essentially if you see it's doing is it's trying to copy the file which we created under script to dot git slash hooks folder and this is running whenever someone runs the build so anyone who is making application changes obviously at least once will go into build the application and why we are doing this because the pre commits only works when the files are under the dot git directory which is the personal to the developer because we are not checking in this in the source control dot git folder we want it to be present with the application project file which is will which will be script slash pre commit which we are going to check in and anytime someone runs a build it will run this gradle task which will eventually copy it to their git hook folder so let's go to our oh, uh, i'm here go one level back and then vi to gradle build and let's go to the bottom edit mode i don't want to disturb this and that's it so i have pasted the content in the folder and i forgot to go out of the edit mode so okay so let's make sure it's being written correctly and yeah if you see i have edited the file using vi and pasted the content from the post now so before we run we'll just verify do we have any file under git hooks name pre commit 
and it's not there which is obvious because we have not built this application yet so let's go ahead and build the application so expectation is when we run the build command it should copy the file over to the git hooks folder so let's see and hope this gets built quickly yep it does so now let's again try to verify and this time this should have been copied over and yes it is so now the file from the script folder is copied over to the git folder and then if i try to commit now it should run the file and yes so it's it started running if you see it right so the same output which was there it echoed the command uh, the comments that done with the unit test it's and then there was one more which is saying it's started to run the unit test so each time now someone who tries to run a git commit it will just run the test every time so that is very convenient and this helps us to put not only the test anything as like the linting if you want to have in a project a similar consistent linting for a project across all developers we can enforce this via this so yeah that is pretty much i wanted to show you today thanks for joining me and please like share and subscribe thank you